Now I know this ain't my usual setup. Uh, I just have like my earbuds in with the microphone and everything like that. Let me shut off this light here. Okay. So as we get around the corner, because this is gonna be part one of my retro vlog here. This is gonna be part one of it. Kind of just take you guys around this corner. Traffic is a bit heavy. Okay, so you guys see where Goodwill is, right? Goodwill. I remember all of this, all of this, but I actually was never here once. It used to be a whole trailer park, like right here in this area. Not even this car wash was even here. This used to be a whole trailer park, right? A whole trailer park here. And as we get over to where this building is, where Aldi's and Verizon is, right in this little area where this daycare is, I'm not gonna show it though, but there used to be four wheelers that used to be sold here. And they used to have the four wheelers on top of this hill once, or it used to be a hill before it got flattened out. And they used to sell like a lot of, you know, four wheelers there and, you know, this area, because they used to have trailers here, right? It was nothing but meth labs once upon a time, nothing but meth labs here. And because of that, when it came to these buildings once that you guys see here, where you have Verizon and all these, you know, people used to steal or break into a lot of those trailers once upon a time so I'll take you guys out through another location now, the areas that are a bit far like back that way now i'm not gonna walk there then double back but i'll have to show you guys the pacific area most definitely um when it comes to retro vlog part two but i think i'm going to share it definitely in this vlog and tell you guys a story for those that live in the town that i do of sorry about that of columbia tennessee right for those of you that live in the town that I do, Columbia, Tennessee, back in the day, right in the 80s and 90s, where Shoney's used to be at, before there were Shoney's, right? Before there were Shoney's, you had a burger joint that used to be a bus station for Greyhound buses back then. I, I remember that so well. It was a 50s theme, you know, black and white checker patterns and everything. So I remember that. And the place, which is a advanced financial, I believe, you know, before that was even there, I remember vividly what that used to be first. It used to be a gas station. It used to definitely be a gas station once upon a time. Uh, then from there it changed into a car lot and now a financial loan place. So I do definitely remember that. Very much so. Very much. Like I said, I would have went there but I'm not like gonna double back because of where I'm going next to show you guys and just talk to you guys about some good memories. So that being said, 
so you guys, the building down there that you guys see used to be our mall. Used to be our mall, right? Now, back in the day when the mall was still in progress, it used to be one of Oppie Mills theme parks. Yes, it used to be one of Oppie Mills theme parks back then. I clearly, clearly remember because I have a picture when I was at the water uh, slide, water thing area of it. And we'll get to more about that area and the buildings surrounding it, definitely. But I do want to fill that part in right here. And again, back when it was becoming the mall, it used to be way more bigger than what you guys have, have seen now. It almost used to be two stories. And again, we will get to more about that, but I just wanted to fill in this little part about it being part of the old Opry Mills once upon a time. For business, for business and illegal reasons, I'm not going to show the building errands. However, I will say this much. Before there were errands, the building, again, it's in front of me, used to be Hollywood videos back in the day. Yes, Hollywood videos back in the day. And it used to, you know, one part of it was all VHS, you know. And then by the time DVDs started coming around, as when they started to shut down for some unknown reason. But the other section was GameSpot back in the day. Not GameStop, GameSpot back then as well. And some parts of that section, you could go in there, buy a game. And this was PS1, PS2 era, or you could rent one as well. So... I just wanted to fill that out for you guys. Again, for, 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 for my safety and for me not to get in trouble, you know, I'm not gonna show the building because it is a rental business. And what we're about to get to now is this okay. plaza area. Okay, you guys see this plaza over here? This plaza area? You know, before this was a plaza area, this whole building, this whole building used to be a Kmart back in the day. I specifically remember because that's where we went to a lot. You know, maybe once in a blue moon, you know, we went to uh, to Walmart. But, you know, Walmart, just like then, was expensive. So the only time you really went to Walmart, let's be honest, was holiday seasons. But your everyday shopping took place right here where this where this building is used to be Kmart this whole thing used to be Kmart back in the day I just want to fill that in with you guys I have nothing but good memories here so it's going to go ahead and definitely move on to the next before it shut down this used to be the old movie house back 80s 90s 2000s at the most if my memory serves me correctly if my memory serves me correctly i think it used to be a little bit bigger now remember i'm 31 so i remember quite a few things but if my memory serves me correctly i think it used to be almost bigger almost taller and we took quite a few field trips here back in the day to see movies when it came to AR reading tests. And unfortunately, due to not just the pandemic, but a lot of a lot of streaming apps, you know, slowly but surely killed going to the movies when it came to new releases. I understand with some new movies, 
they still say theaters but that's only for the big major cities that can afford to have the theaters open other than that with a lot of streaming apps when it came to like things like netflix hulu uh hbo max killed movies such as this place especially during the nighttime before it changed hands of management it had almost like a curved kind of like a curved billboard at once it used to be all lit up with neon lights once but unfortunately you know when you change hands for business shit starts to go under very quick then the pandemic killed it but the thing was, was was doing good a lot of people really loved coming to the movies because not everybody had the money to afford streaming services as you can see it's now closed this right here this jump this jumbo screen was a waste of money because they put this up how they would advertise what they were what, what was here in this movie house because they used to have posters all throughout but you could tell over time this place was going to close down because of the quality the quantity of their snacks of their drinks got crappier over time so there's that now that plaza building right there which is like as you can see what's all in it cricket powerhouse subs jets pizza donuts uh fantastic sam's and there's also an eyeglass place as well that building used to be blockbuster back in the day back in the day it used to be blockbuster yes blockbuster that chinese restaurant right there that you guys see it wasn't a chinese restaurant there used to be an ice cream place snow cones they used to have competitions contests during the summertime where you can win a bike or the updated water guns back then this whole plaza area back then this whole plaza area I knew this this whole plaza area that you guys see used to be i think it used to be a store called bylos once upon a time bylos i don't know how many of you guys remember bylos but that's what that used to be back then now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna move on to the section that's a mall that's no longer a mall we're going to the mall location right here columbia mall there's an auto mall back in the day I'm about to share you guys some good retro memories I'm still making my way towards the mall area or what used to be a mall but we're not going to talk about what it is now this ain't what this is about this is about what it used to be back when malls all across the u.s were still the place to go to and back then you just couldn't go to the mall that had to be earned that was a privilege at least it was when i was growing up and the people before me were growing up it was a privilege it was had to be earned it was a reward back then the mall used to be almost two stories once almost about almost two and a half ish it was still pretty tall you had one part right here i'm looking at where this motorcycle doom buggy place is columbia power sports if i remember correctly it used to be shears shears back in the day used to sell electronics and clothes you should sell electronics and clothes the part next to it a little bit onto the side used to be an arcade room back in the day and the hallway area if i remember correctly 
a toy store. Um, you had uh, custom airbrush designs. And you had Radio Shack. You had a bookstore in there. A leather shop, sound sound shop, um, epic wear. Um, man, Peebles back in the day as well. There's another store. Damn, man, I can't quite think of it. Not J.C. Penney's, even though they're now shut down and no longer within existence. Man, you had a, a taco shop. Um, you had a food stand area, a couple of them, if I remember correctly. You had a studio photo booth in there where you can book to get portraits done, things like that. This area right here, this area that I'm looking at right here, this area right here used to sell TVs. Whenever the updated TVs came out, this is where you went to. That part right there used to be the arcade section of the mall back in the day as well. You know, in this area alone is where you wanted to be though. This is where you would shoot dice at. If not shoot dice, is where we used to hang out at. This is where a lot of us used to, who, who people who are now in their 40s, who used to be mixtape artists or doing music or bootleg DJs, this is where you would take your stereo cassette, boom box, right here. This is where you would hustle out your CDs, your mixtapes, your cassettes, if you were. You know, this is where you would go, this building back in the day to meet up with that girl. You know what I'm saying? Back then. You used to have car competitions all throughout this car lot back then as well. This whole area that I'm sharing with you guys alone with the past couple of spots just now. Imagine back in the 80s and 90s during the summertime how nice it looked. But imagine it during the, during the nighttime because there used to be so much neon lights everywhere. You could have swore you were in New York or at least Miami, Florida back in the 80s and 90s. Just how it looked during the nighttime. You could have swore that this was a mixture of Brook a mixture of Brooklyn, New York, right? Or Bronx. Or Queens with a mixture of that Miami, Florida vice feeling. This is how it felt back then. I, I remember it clear as day. Now, it used to be so much that used to go down here. They used to, use, they used to hold um, a, a medium-sized, big-sized carnival here once, about every, every summer or so, if I remember correctly. You know, it used to get bigger. It used to be really big, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, man, you know, as you get older, what ruined that were a bunch of little fucking knuckleheads, man, growing up. And, you know, we, we would just start fighting there. You know what I'm saying? We would just start fighting there. Unfortunately, that's what happens and how things get ruined. Oh, man, that's how things get ruined. During the season of the fairgrounds. We have a holiday here, or we used to, used to known as a meal day. And the park area, when that would come, it would change its name to the fairgrounds. They used to actually have rides, big roller coasters, uh, Ferris wheels. Um, man, just a lot of unique, big, gigantic rides. They had a, this one ride. It was kind of looked like a spinny top. You would go inside it, and it would move so fast that you you have to lay on the wall and everything, and it would and the thing that you would lay on would would go up. Oh man, I I, I remember that. 
It was something else. I remember. I do. I do. You know, they used to bring uh, petting zoos throughout this town as well, once upon a time. And you now I specifically remember that. I'm gonna show you guys something else as well. That building, that building right there with that plaza area, that plaza part on its side, right, per se, was never there. But that building right there, that building used to be the old Walmart back in the day. Yes, that building used to be the old Walmart back in the day. Because this building with this plaza and the Walmart now, which I'll show you guys once I get close to it, where you guys see GameStop building that, right? And before GameStop, GameSpot was also here in the mall as well. You can see it's empty inside and those who live in this area knows that this part is pretty much now um, a cancer hospital more than anything and it's still underneath construction to be a cancer hospital. But where you guys see this plaza building, right? And right behind this tree, literally right behind this tree, right across the, sh right across the road, literally right across the road. And we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Walmart, right there. Yes. This Walmart was never here. This whole area used to be nothing but forest area. Even the neighborhoods behind it did not exist just yet. It was all forested area. So by the time they decided to want to reconstruction everything, right, is when they decided to start tearing that down, building the neighborhoods, building the new Walmart because Kmart was going out of business. You know, and, th and that's what I specifically remember with everything is how a lot of that went back then with what I shared. You know, this is Retro Memories, part one. I'm going to be filming part two on Friday, May 7th. We're going to go to another part of town. I'm going to share with you guys some memories there as well that I remember. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one right here. As much as I did, talking about it really brought me back. I wish there were photos. I wish there were video footage I could show. Unfortunately, there's not. I even tried to look for old commercials back then around this area as well as the library because so i really wanted to put something together for you guys but unfortunately they don't have any or if they do they're not going to let people gain access to it because heaven forbid if they want people to remember how this town was it was joyful back then it was you know good memories but you know they want people to know as it is now a dead end shell, a former shadow of what it used to be, which is now pretty much an abandoned ghost town. So with that being said, I'm out, peace.